All right, everybody. Join me in welcoming back to the stage director, Laura Lemus. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we will be taking uh, questions from the audience as well, uh, but I'm gonna start with some of my own, if you don't mind. Um, Laura, this film is such a delight and so beautiful and such a great positive uh, film to watch at, at this <laughs> stage in history, I think. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, th you're, this is your first feature film, and you're from Finland originally. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to tell this story? Yeah, I think, um, uh, Frida also, um, her family is in Finland, and for me, uh, for, her s um, for her situation being alone and pregnant, I think it was really important that she has this um, like urban nomad life, which many people have in big cities or in Berlin, um, like, like I was, and so I kind of felt um, often that even though my own life was in Berlin, but when I left Finland and my family there, even though I was an adult, it was, yeah, there was something sad about it. Mm. And so I kind of needed this in the beginning to maybe give empathy for her, of her, you know, crazy reactions and, <laughs> you yeah. know, and, you know, her fighting maybe too much for something. Right. Um, Maybe it would have been different if she would have had her mother and aunts and, you know, just family uh, around her. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Can you talk a little bit about the screenplay and, and the writer of, of the script? Yes, um, I started, I, I wrote the treatment myself. Um, I created the world and then um, we um, contacted uh, this screenwriter. She's very famous in Germany. She makes this huge blockbuster films, um, but I noticed that uh, every now and then she had these small, small independent films there. Mm. So I kind of took my courage and we asked her and um, she said yes. <laughs> so uh, it was really nice. She kind of built then the dramaturgy and the dialogues and um, yes, uh, it, was, it was really fun. Um, writing that we actually we laughed a lot yeah so yeah. it's <laughs> such a great script <laughs> yes. i'm gonna pause and see if there is a question at the time from this audience right here go ahead Yes, yes, I think many <laughs> things <laughs> yet uh, it's it's not directly my story but i think um yeah being this nomad and maybe imagining herself out of the situations that as kind of coping mechanism, you know, this magical realism, what she does, um, uh, really helps her, <laughs> I can <laughs> just recommend. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, there was super funny, somebody wrote in Instagram something uh, like, uh, what is she um, waiting to see? And she said like, sweet disaster, because she had a, just had a break up and she was looking for coping mechanism. And I was like, don't try this at home, so <laughs> yes. Yes, and uh, yes, I um, yes, and I've been also a single mom, and I kind of also wanted to this be some kind of a representation for for them, or, uh, uh, you know, to you know, everybody needs their moment, and I really wanted to appreciate that and, and show it's it's wonderful, but it's also very hard, and I kind of wish that if somebody has been through that, that they would kind of um, you know. Uh, not feel um, deceived or something by my presentation, maybe, yeah. if that would be maybe the serious side yeah. of the film. Well, and I, I love the star, uh, Friedrich uh, Kempter. Um, thank you also for uh, casting a woman who was also in her 40s to play yes. a woman in her 40s. <laughs> yes. I think that's very important. <laughs> yes. um, she was fantastic in this, too. Can you talk about the casting process and how you got to her? Yes, it's, it was really funny because the first sentence in my script was, Frida is 40 and she's pregnant. And um, she came to the casting and she was like, ah, everybody calls me Frida, I'm 40 and I'm pregnant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it was, um, yeah, she was just, I think in the casting process, I mean, she's very famous in Germany, uh, TV, she's a big TV star and film. Um, and but I think she kind of make, made, made us laugh the most, but also touched us the most. So I kind of, I needed really experienced actor, actress because this was my first debut film and I haven't been working with actress so much. So I thought like I have to cast for experience. 
And so we had the uh, financing took time, and so we had a few years together to talk about it. And we did some rehearsals, not so much, but I kind of, when we started to shoot, I knew we were, we were like online, that she, she had to do hers and, and me mine. And I mean, there was a lot to do in the set, you know, a lot of kids and <laughs> babies in different <laughs> ages. <laughs> you know, a we had VFX and stunt coordinators, and uh, it was just, uh, more is more, I just say. <laughs> Let's see if there's another question yet in the audience from anybody. Go ahead, right here. Thank you. That's a great idea. I love that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's a great. Um, yeah, we had so much, so much fun with her and her machines and her. Yes. Uh, yeah. And and I I really I'm happy for the kids nowadays, and I hope they have that that they don't have to feel a mold that they can just be what they are and and yes, and she's also. Um, when I casted her, the actress, she was 17, mm. just finishing high school, and we uh, shot the film when she was 21. Until that time, she was super well known in Germany. She made this huge career in a few years in a very famous Netflix series in Germany. And yeah, I was so happy for her. I mean, she was just this girl, and now <laughs> she's this <laughs> amazing young woman, but she could still do it. And she had a lot of fun playing teenager, now not being anymore yeah, one. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, back there. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really had amazing head-offs. Um, most of them were women. Um, I had a camera woman, si a set designer a woman, costume was woman. Um, and uh, the story behind would be maybe because um, I'm from Finland and I think everybody has their own thing with the homeland, like the Spanish when they are somewhere, they so miss the food and the sun or whatever. I think in Finland it's a lot of the design. We have like this design and architecture is a huge part of our culture. And I, if you know Finnish culture, I think you, you see a lot of stuff in her uh, apartment, in her clothes, these colors. Um, and that kind of came out of that. The, the we, made some, we made this color bi called Color Bible. and. Mm wanted it to be rich because she's like, I mean, her inner life is very rich. Right. So I thought she will, uh, you know, it's kind of expression of that maybe. That's so great. Yep, right up there. Yeah, that's nice that you say they were not judgmental. No? They were really supportive. I think they had have so much experience in life. I really love that. And um, um, yeah, it was so much fun. I called them Spice Girls. <laughs> they were my Spice <laughs> Girls. <laughs> and they, they were always great fun when they came to the set and everybody loved them. And um, yeah, I, um, I actually uh, thank you for Asking, I really wanted to say something, uh, two things. I once went by chance to a church in Sunday mo morning. I thought that was an old church that was closed, but there was one day, there was one morning when I got the bread in Germany, you always uh, get in the morning fresh uh, bread rolls. And I saw the door was open and an uh, old lady went in. So I went after her and found, uh, and when I, like, I had to get stairs up, there was like nobody and I got in and the, Orca started to play. I saw <laughs> I had a heart attack, but it was a church full, I, I don't know how you call it, like evangelical church, mm. super beautiful, like glass windows. And the first, it was almost empty, like the first five rows were full of old ladies. Mm -hmm. And I stayed, and afterwards I found out this was in Berlin, in Wedding, which is um, uh, this place where the Church was was like this. Uh, there were a lot of addict, um, how say, drug addicts, mm. like hanging out. So I found out that in the next building where the church was, they were 
they, these, old, th these ladies opened up like a kindergarten for these drug addicts that they could go in the morning, have a breakfast, and you know, read something, play something. So it was so sweet, you know, and you don't know that. Right. They just, they are just there, you know, doing stuff. And what is, you know, everybody was afraid of these drug addicts because they were quite aggressive. And so that really touched my heart and I really wanted to tribute them like this. And the second thing is that, I don't know, it may be different here in the US because we had, a, as a, like in Finland and Germany, we had a World, World War II. So our grandpa and grandfathers were all in the war. So there had been this trauma, trauma in this generation. So, they, they, so granddads have kind of not been there mm. from different reasons. Mm. So, um, so I kind of um, was reflecting that and thought that it's like the grandmas is like the active and why is that? And yeah, it's kind of sad also because it's a hu I think it's a huge theme, this fatherlessness in, in Northern Europe, I would say. Such great backstory to the script, too. Let me see if anybody else has another one. Yep, sorry, no, it's okay. <laughs> about, um, sorry? Felix. Felix, Felix yes. Um, what was your uh, hope that the movie would feel about that story? Yeah, I, it was. <laughs> I, um, in the first first rounds in script writing, we kind of had him we had him like as an easy target, you know, like it's it's easy to think that he's really uh, you know awful and horrible and uh, and um, then we thought like okay we need more dimensions because life sometimes is just super messy, and so we kind of I kind of d didn't want everybody to hate him. I mean uh, he's a bit douchebag, but <laughs> a little bit, but maybe he just don't, I, I think I also wanted everybody to see that I think he would not be the right one for her, like I think that would not could be a good match, and um, I think he will be in the life of this child, but anyway, I just wanted to put the spot on her development and her um, need to make the decision, I can do it, and I think we know she can do it, you know, and yes, and to have like peace with that and they will have a good life and mm -hmm. she with her baby and having these other moms around and cool. yeah. Well I just I love this story so much I think it's such a beautiful story of perseverance um, on her behalf too and of, of single motherhood and, and parenthood in general um, and I love as you all seem to have too love the way that you told it I think you have such a unique voice and I can't wait to see what you do next <laughs> is there any news about what you might do next yes um, well I have uh, my next film uh, we are on the funding right now it will be a total different um, story and maybe style um, but um, I don't know how long we will need for financing so it's uh, filmmaking is like w you climb a mountain like my mountain was five years and then you're on top of the mountain and you notice you kind of have to climb the next mountain. <laughs> <laughs> you start right. from the beginning. So yeah. it's, a, uh, it's interesting. But um, I have a few, few things um, um, starting to develop in me. And okay. yeah, let's see. So great. Well, thank yes. you so much for Thanks. coming all the way here, Laura. <laughs> thank you for you. sharing this film with us. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm in the mood for a smoothie. A uh, fruit stand over <laughs> in Leo Square has smoothies. Might go get one. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, make sure to fill out your ballots and give Laura a chance to get some of that funding for her next film. <laughs> thank you, everybody.